Hi everyone, this is Cheryl. Um, I'm coming to you today uh, just to do this very quick and easy um, tag. I think it's called an accordion tag, but I have to show it to you. I have a prototype. I've already done one. They only take a few minutes and um, here is the one that I did. Now, for this one, I used Edith Holden pages. I have a Edith Holden book that I've had forever, and I have some pages, and I want to make some ephemera with it. So, here it is. And, and what it is, it's, it's a tag that the ribbon is attached to the back of it, and it's actually two tags, and when you open it up, it has a piece of paper in it, you know, that you can write on and then you can also turn it over and write on the other side. Is that cool or what? So what I what I did was I took four pages, four Edith Holden pages, and I glued two and two together. I put the pretty sides out, I put the just the you know the uh writing sides on the inside and then I glued them together with glue stick okay cut them into the tag shape sewed around them because I only used uh, glue stick so I sewed around them because I think it makes them look very neat and finished and then I punched a hole in just one so that I could put the topper or the ribbon topper in just one of them. You don't want to put it through both because then your tag won't open. <laughs> so, and I used coffee dyed paper. I'm going to show you how I folded it and, and glued it in there. So, it's really easy and cute. And then it ties. Now, you can just, I mean, I'm making them so that they will just be attached to a page in the journal like with a paper clip or tucked into a pocket. So that is, and there it is. And I just added a butterfly because the, the tag page, you know, the pages themselves were so pretty that it just took minimal um, decorations. And I love it. So uh, you can also do it with regular book page. You could do it with any other kind of pages if you wanted to, but here I just took book page and again, glued two together, you know, two and two, cut the tag shape, sewed around it, put the hole in the top, and I did all of that because, I mean, you, you guys know how to do that. That's so simple. You make tags all the time. So now we need the coffee dyed paper and I'm going to show you how to fold it. So you take your coffee dyed paper, it can be plain old coffee dyed paper. Mine just happens to have stencil, that's about what I have left, is some stenciling on here. So let's see, let me think this through. I'm going to do it this way. Do I want to do it this way? I want to do it so that when I put it in my, yeah, so I'm going to try it this way. It doesn't really matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to fold it this way. Just fold it in half. Okay. And then fold this back like this. Flip it over. Fold this back. Bring it back to the edge again and fold it. And that is all there is to folding it. So we're going to see how much of it we actually need. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to put it right about there on the tag. And I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to cut it with scissors, too. Uh, let's see if I can cut straight. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge on the bottom. You know. 
So there I have it. Now, to attach it, here's my two pieces. I'm going to fold back a half, about a half an inch. Maybe more than that. Let's do a little more than that. Not quite to the center, you know what I mean? Not quite. All right, and then back again. Okay, just so that you've made a crease. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Just bring it back, not quite half way, and fold it and crease it, and then and then straighten it up again. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, I'm going to glue it down. Now you don't want to bring your glue past that crease. Because if you do, you're going to glue your pages together. You're going to glue your thing together that you won't be able to. And I'm using glue stick, and then I'm just putting just a tiny bit of other glue because I don't want it to come apart. Just a, just, a, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to kind of make sure it's centered in there. Okay, and then I'm going to put my glue on this side, and I am not going past that crease. And again, I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of this glue, and then I'm going to match these tags up. Match them up. Press it down. And there it is. Opens on both sides. And the purpose of making that crease is just so that this, this really opens up easy then. You know what I mean? It just... It just makes it easy, okay? And so we match these up, make sure they're matched up. Now to decorate, now you can ink, you know, you can ink a little bit if you like your coffee dot paper inked a little bit, you know, you can kind of, should have did this beforehand, didn't do it. Not going to worry about it. Just going to ink it a little bit. Gives it that little something, something on the creases. I love to do that. Okay. Hope you're seeing me here. Okay. So, again, it's accordion style. So when you open your tag, look at that. There's your journaling space. Close it up, open it up on the other side, and you got more journaling space. And it's super cute, okay? So now I'm not going to do a whole bunch of decorating. I'm going to use some things that I have laying on my desk already which happened to be, I had this little piece of lace and I was trying to think what I could do here. I have this little picture. Maybe I can make it look like it's tucked into a pocket and glue everything down. Let's try that. I'm going to try that. So I'm going to just use glue stick here. You do want to make sure your stuff is glued down well because you don't want it falling apart, <laughs> you know, in your journal or whatever. So make sure that you glue your stuff well. Uh, I can never tell which is the right side of the lace. And if you can't tell, I doubt that it matters. 
So I'm going to use, um, I'm just going to use this a little bit, very tiny bit of, I'm going to glue it on the good spots, you know, the, where it's thicker and it doesn't make it look shiny. And I'm just going to put it across there and make it look like she's tucked in like a pocket. And then I have these, I have these flowers stickers laying on my desk and I am going to use one. Do I want the big one or the little one? I think I want the little one. Let me look. I think I'm going to use the little one. And I'm going to leave that foam thing so it makes it kind of 3D. Oh, wait a minute. Whoops, wait. You're supposed to take part of it off, aren't you? You're supposed to take, maybe it is off. Okay, we're just leaving it. Because <laughs> I think it's already off. Anyway. I don't know. I'm putting it on there. Okay. Now we need our ribbon on there to tie it shut. And see, it's very simple and yet very cute for in your journal. And you need thin ribbon because I don't know about you. Oh, this looks like it was taped together. I mean, who did that? I got this at the ribbon outlet, you know. So you need a nice piece of ribbon that you're going to be able to tie in the front. Okay, and thin ribbon is so much easier on these. So what I did on my last one, I watched someone do this. Can't tell you her name. Um, don't know. I'm really bad about it. This is double-sided tape. And I'm going to put it right about about here and I'm not oh shoot and you know I'm not measuring or anything I'm just just doing it so put that down because this is where your ribbon is going to be attached so I use the double sided tape Gonna add just a smidgen of glue, just a smidge. I don't want to make glue globs or anything on my ribbon, but just a little tiny bit. And I am just going to put it on there. Yeah, we don't like glue globs. And then I'm gonna bring it around and tie it. Looks about right. Ugh. I'm going to do it upside down. Can I do it upside down? So, anyway. I wish I could remember the name of the lady that I saw making these, but. I'm usually very bad about that because I just watch it and get excited and then I jump off of YouTube and I try to do it, you know, right away before I forget. So there it is. And uh, let's see, I need a little piece of ribbon at the top. I think they look good with a little piece of ribbon at the top. So here we go. through the one tag. And there we go. And how easy was that? And how fun for in your journal. I mean, you know, on a journal page, uh, you could tuck it into a pocket. You can clip it onto the, a page. You could add, I could add some more lace down here and I might do that. 
I might add some lace down here on this first one so that it kind of hangs down because you know I like lace. And uh, so there you go. So we have two different styles here. We have uh, we have the, the nature theme and then we have this one. And how easy and fun are they? I'm going to be posting a swap uh, in the events under the event uh, section. And so, and on your pages on the inside, you can stamp or stencil to make them fun. Like I put butterflies, but you could stencil in there. You know, I might go back and stencil with the same stencil and make both sides of the paper have that stenciling on it. And just to make it pretty and interesting and, you know, I don't want to be too blah. I mean, I don't want to use a ton of material. I want to keep them flat and easy to mail, but uh, stenciling is a great way, you know, to add and little thin flat lace and things like that make it so easy to keep everything flat for mailing and for in your journal. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you will join the swap. Uh, I think we're just going to make uh, at least one tag, and if you want to make two, that would be awesome for your partner. But anyway, the I'll decide all of that, and the uh, directions will be, you know, in the event. So, hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Bye-bye.